Okay, so for this one, Bruce and Robbie each open up new bank accounts at time zero. Bruce deposits 100 into his bank account. And Robbie deposits 50 into his. Okay, so uh, basically each account earns the same annual effective interest rate. Okay, the amount of interest earned in Bruce's account during the 11th year is equal to X which means that within the time span of uh, the 10th and 11th year, that, it, that is what they mean by the amount of interest earned in Bruce's account during the 11th year is equal to X. And then the amount of interest earned in Robbie's account during the 17th year is also equal to X, which means that within the uh, time span of the 16th and 17th year, uh, the interest earned is also X. So basically, uh well we've uh, learned about this uh since the beginning of studying uh that the amount of interest earned is always equal to the time the later time of uh for example 11 minus the previous time for example at uh 10 right so it's always AT minus AT minus one, right? What has occurred here minus what has occurred here, what has occurred here minus what occurred here. So now since both of these uh, frameworks are equal to each other, we need to calculate X. Okay, so let's set up the equation. What is the accumulation amount at time 11? Well, for Bobby, no, for Bruce, um, it for, at time 11, the value would equal to this, right? And then for at time 10, the value would also equal to 100 times 1 plus i to the 10th power. So let's get 100 simplified out of there and make it look like this. Right. Now for uh, Robbie, uh, 50, let's take 50 out of there. The accumulation at time 17. minus the accumulation at time 16, right? Now we found our interest earned in both periods. Now we have to set them equal to each other and find out what x equals to. Okay, well, we can simplify. We could get cross out this, make this two. Um, we can also, uh, take out like an amount of uh, effective interest rates. So we could do, we could take out one plus I 10. So then it could simplify to uh, one plus I minus one, right? And uh, for this part, we could also do the same thing, take out one plus i, right, to the 16th, and then simplify it so it will become one plus i to the one, min uh, yeah, minus one. Okay, now we can get rid of these parts. Oh, oops these parts. Now we're left with 2 times 1 plus i to the 10 equals 1 plus i to the 16. Let's move this to the other side. So then the exponent over here would become 6. Now we're left with 2 equals 1 plus i to the 6. Now let's solve for i. We'll bring 6 to the other side by doing 2 to the 1 sixth. Let's solve that in our calculator. So 2 to the 1 over 6 is uh, 1.12246, right? And then we have uh, 1 plus i left. So let's subtract that from 1. And then we get 0 0.122462 uh, as i, right? Now let's calculate x. Well, we know that either of these scenarios equal x. So let's just plug in i into either of these equal functions. So since we know that i equals uh, 0 0.122462 now, we can just plug it into this part. So uh, I'll start from here. So plus 1 to the 11th power 
which is 3.5635, right, minus uh, 1.122462 to the 10th power, okay, okay, uh, and then times 100. And then we end up getting 38.87 as the final answer, which is closest to choice E.